again, Dr. Valerie Nelson here. I wanted to take a moment to explain to you about how the cell phone EMF radiation uh, neutralizing sticker tags work. So, um, you may already have these if you're watching this video. So, what um, these are comprised of is they are, they are programmed with homeopathic frequencies that have been shown to, to reduce the damaging effects or neutralize the damaging effects of radiation and EMS around us. So, homeopathy um, is energy frequency medicine, different than herbal medicine and vitamins and minerals. It's all frequency based. So simply how you can program frequencies into a CD or into that chip that goes into your cell phone that knows like how to find you wherever you are. You can actually program frequencies from nature um, into substances. And homeopathy has been around since the 1700s. As a matter of fact, um, one of the hospitals here in Pittsburgh, Shadyside Hospital, used to be a homeopathic hospital. That's an interesting fact for a lot of people to learn. And um, so it's kind of dwindled in the United States over the years, but it's still very effective. So, um, so basically, um, what I'll do is I will get a tri-field EMF meter, and I will measure things in my house to see what the EMF output is. And the reason I do that is to see if there's objects that are close by me on a regular basis that I don't want the radiation EMF to mess with my body. So that is what, that, So this will tell me what things that I need to have protection on. One misconception though, is if you measure your cell phone, for instance, with this, and you put the radiation EMF neutralizing tags on, that people will go back and measure their phone again, and the EMF still show up on the device. Well, these are neutralizers, they're, they're not blockers. Blockers would be you'd put your phone in a cell case, I mean in a steel case, or um, something that's actually going to completely block that signal. But um, if you completely encased your cell phone in a case, no one's going to be able to call you. It's not going to work anyway. So that's not even practical. So if you go, um, I know a lot of people that sell um, neutralizing devices claim that they will change the EMF meter readout and we've ordered a lot of them and tested them and they don't. So if somebody's claiming that, um, then you might want to really question the integrity of their product. So again, that's the EMF um, tri-field meter. They, um, these sell for maybe $130, $140 on, online. They're a little bit pricey, but um, okay. So. Next, I want to demonstrate how you can determine how many of the neutralizer tags that you need to use on your cell phone. We're going to use a cell phone for an example. Um, applied kinesiology and muscle testing is the process that we're going to use. It was developed back in the 1960s by a world-renowned chiropractor, and it's primarily used by chiropractors and natural health practitioners. So, and it, ver it works very similarly to how a polygraph test will work. So when they hook somebody up to a polygraph or you know, a lie detecting machine and, you're, and you say an untrue statement, the energy systems in your body change. So similarly to how um, it's, if you hold something up against your body that your body doesn't like, your body will actually go weak. So we're going to demonstrate how you can determine how many you need on a phone. Okay, so what you're going to do is the person who's being tested is going to face forward and don't put your eyes down to the floor, make sure your eyes are forward. And the person who is testing that person will face that person and, um, and the feet placement of the person who needs to be t who's being tested, the feet placement needs to be touching without one toe being more forward than the other toe. So the, the feet need to be touching, not spread apart, and the, the toes need to be lined up. Okay, so Jenna, get your toes lined up there and your feet touching. I'm going to kick off my shoes so I'm more your height. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to clasp her one hand in mine as if I'm holding her hands, and my other hand is going to go about halfway up her arm. And Jenna, what I want you to do is whenever I pull down towards the floor, I want you to try to keep your body stiff. And this is not a pull over test, or not even slightly, you just want to pull straight down towards the floor. So I'm going to give Jenna the phone, 
and this is an unprotected cell phone, so we're going to see if this cell phone is weakening her. Okay? Again, okay. double check the feet placement, make sure their feet are placed that way. Okay, are you ready, Jenna? Yes. Okay, and resist. Okay, so Jenna is quite weakened by EMFs, actually, and the toxicity of this phone. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take one of the thin tags. These are really convenient because you can slip them on your phone easy. They're waterproof and you can move them from one device to the next. Uh, and we're just going to hold that one up against your phone and we're going to retest you again. Okay. okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Resist. Okay. So she's still pretty weak on one. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we put two on. Okay. Let's go ahead and hold those two up against you. Okay. Okay. And are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. And resist. Okay. So she's much, much stronger on really two. Strong, yeah. So her number is um, going to be two. So what you do is you just simply, um, can you hold that please? <laughs> so you simply just peel off the back um, and you place it right on the phone like such right there. And since she needs two, I'm going to go ahead and get the other one. Um, and when you have two, you can actually just put it right below it or you can put it right on top of it. Just like that. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm sure the laptop and the button. Also, um, a lot of times if you order one of our packages, you get a free EMF neutralizing button too. And let me explain the difference between the button and the thing you put on your phone. Um, the button you can actually just wear, um, yeah, it protects you from EMS that you're exposed to that are around you all the time because not everybody's going to have those protectors on their phone. A lot of people don't even realize the dangers of that or that, that there's anything that they can do to help to neutralize the damaging effects. So the buttons will just be worn. Um, a lot of times you can put them on the inside. Um, like I'll wear mine on the side of my bra. Some people will put them. You know, if you have an inner shirt underneath, you can put them inside your t-shirt. Um, but I wear that, um, I wear that all the time. Um, another thing you can do is there is a product um, that we developed called Superfood Greens. And one of the main purposes of this product is it'll help absorb radiation from the inside too. So um, two to four of these a day, there's a big bottle, these are a big bottle, there's 400 in there. Um, so two to four a day would give you um, some pretty amazing protection as well. There's been a lot of studies about showing about certain ingredients and certain herbs can have a protecting effect against um, radiation and EMS. Let me show you on the laptops. Okay, Jenna, thank you. You're welcome. On the laptops, the, the laptops are like scary <laughs> dangerous. Um, if you muscle test somebody on a laptop versus a cell phone, you will be shocked at how much weaker a person is on a laptop and how many people are in su such close proximity to their laptop. So we would suggest putting at least four on the laptop and, um, and then possibly even one in the middle. So, okay. Thank you very much and have a blessed day.